there is a huge dilemma when it comes to recruiting tech and tech co-founders. Maybe you already know this and that's why you're here taking this course, or maybe you don't actually know what it's like trying to recruit a tech co-founder. I can tell you from experience, it is insanely difficult. Let me walk you through kind of a little bit of a role play so you can kind of get what I mean. Let's say you have an idea. You think it's a pretty good idea. You've told it to your friends. You've told it to your families. Everyone says, yeah, that's great. I think it would work. It makes sense to me. On top of this, the more and more you start thinking about your idea, the more you think that this actually has long-term potential. You think this could actually go the distance. You think it could make you a lot of money. You think it's something that would perform well in the marketplace. You think it's something that's going to finally allow you to get that cash out and retire and move on to things that you really love to do. And if you're listening to this and you have started a business before in the past and consider yourself an entrepreneur, this probably happens to you every week. You probably have ideas that always pop up to your head and you obsess over them, you refine them, and you finally come to a point where you think, this is awesome. I really think I could do something with this. And if you guys are listening and you're not, this is your first time you've ever had an idea that you're serious about executing, or, or maybe you're just curious that once you do have the idea, this is something that's going to happen to you. You're going to come up with this idea, it's going to consume you, and you want to take it to the next step. This is the genesis story of every single big business, every single startup, every single even lifestyle business. So what do you do? You start looking for that elusive tech co-founder. You look for that web developer, that software mastermind, the guy who's going to be the peanut butter to your jelly that is going to take your ideas and translate them into something that you can actually push out into the market. The quick thing that you would start doing is probably making a mental checklist of what you want in your ideal tech co-founder. First off, do they have free time? Obviously, you have this idea, you want to get it out, and you want to get it out as soon as possible. And so that means that you need to find someone who has free time. That would mean that they are either in a part-time job, maybe they're unemployed, or maybe they have a job that allows them plenty of time to work after hours on the weekend or after their usual 9 to 5. If they're working after their usual 9 to 5 or on the weekends, that does mean that your idea is going to take longer to get built. Maybe you're fine with that, maybe you're not, but that's typically you're going to start looking for someone who has free time. Second thing, you're going to look for someone who has the skills. You don't want to partner with someone who is a junior developer or someone who doesn't have the chops to make what you are trying to actually build. Third thing, you want to look for someone whose technical skills fit what you're trying to build. If you're trying to build a mobile app, then you probably need someone who has experience in building mobile apps. If you're trying to build a website, then they need skills in building websites. Maybe there's something that's a specific technology that's going to be involved in what you're building then you're going to need to look for someone who has specifically skills in that area or someone who you know has adjacent experience and they can pick up whatever they need to learn very quickly. Mm -hmm.